Hi, welcome to Live Aligned Pilates. I'm Liv and today we have a full body flow using the Pilates ring or the magic circle, whatever you want to call it. Let's get started lying down onto our back. Coming into your supine position, having your knees bent with your feet flat, hip distance apart, bringing that ring between your hands. Just stabilizing here through the upper back as you gently rock your knees over to one side, draw down through the core and lower the knees to the opposite direction. Draw the core in and down as you rock your knees side to side, feeling a gentle release through your low back, at the same time connecting in with your core and just providing a gentle amount of tension between the palms into your circle so that your shoulders and your chest start to warm up. Now let's bring our legs back to the center. We're coming into our tabletop leg lift, keeping a neutral spine, which means a natural arch through the low back. And we float the leg up into that 90 degree angle with our knee above our hip and our shin parallel to the ceiling alternating your legs each time you lift. Great, now as you lift your leg up into tabletop, draw that ring down towards your chest, elbows wide, squeeze into the ring, release, foot down, hands to the ceiling. So each time you lift your leg to tabletop, we draw that ring down towards your chest, squeeze it in, trying to make a figure eight with the circle. As you draw the leg up, as you draw the ring in and squeeze, draw the ribs to the hips, start to really connect in with your core. Good, really great way to warm up the upper body as well as the core at the same time. Here for another three. Two. Great, now we float our right leg up into tabletop on one. Place one pad against the thigh of your right leg and the other pad underneath both palms. Shoulders drawing down and back. We pulse into that ring and release. Try and maintain that tabletop position with your right knee. Drawing the ribs down towards the hips as you press into your ring working through the quad, working through the hip flexor on the right side, as well as going deeper in through those abs. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. One, good job. Hold on to that ring, just place your right foot down, bring your left leg back to tabletop and we press into that left leg now, so other side. Notice that it's not a quick, bouncy pulse, it's a controlled press, trying to squish your ring as much as you can while stabilizing your left leg, strong in tabletop. Here for another three. Two, one, lovely. Now let's bring both legs to tabletop and place that ring between your inner thighs, just above the knee joint, squishy pads either side. Feet joining together, hands reaching up to the ceiling, shoulders down again, maintaining your neutral spine. If you prefer to imprint the lower back into the mat, you can take that option. Now let's start to squeeze into that ring and release. We're feeling a lift through our deep core muscles, a scooping through the lower belly. You could always relax your arms down by your side if that supports you more. And we're really starting to warm up through our inner thighs here as we press into that ring evenly through both legs. So good, let's go here for three, 
two, one. Release the ring, but keep the legs up in tabletop. Place the hands behind the head, elbows wide, shoulders drawing down. Let's curl up with that squeeze. Inhale to prepare, exhale, ab curl. Hold the curl, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. Ribs to hips, lift the chest, curl, squeeze that ring and release. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Supporting the neck with your hands, but really using your abs to curl you up here. Inner thighs are on fire. Deep core muscles working hard. Good, let's go for another four. Three. Two. Now we have to hold on one, so lift up. Hold your curl, reach your arms for the end of your mat. Squeeze and pulse that ring as hard as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep that lift. Four, three, two, one, and relax, beautiful. Grab the ring between your hands. You can rock your knees side to side or come into a reclined butterfly stretch. Oh, all right, let's tuck the knees in towards the chest. Wrap that ring around your shins and roll yourself all the way up to seated. So we're coming into some half rollbacks now. Sitting up nice and tall on the sit bones with the knees bent, hip distance apart, your feet are flat. The ring is coming around the backs of the hands or the wrists, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Creating that tension, pressing outwards now into your ring. Sit up tall to prepare. Exhale to drop the ribs down towards the hips, just rolling back to a halfway position. Making a C curve through your spine, scooping in through your core. And then sit up tall, lengthen the spine, reset. Again, ribs to hips, tailbone tucks under, core scoops in and then we lengthen. We're adding on this next one, so we're rolling back. Pausing, reaching the ring up above the head as you continue to press out with your hands. Reach the arms forward and lengthen to sit up tall. Good, ribs to hips, C curve, scoop the core. See how far you can get that ring up above your head and then reset. Just come to however far back works for you today. So no further than halfway at the moment, but if you're not coming down to that exact 50% range, that is totally fine. Just work with a range that limits or challenges you. Two more like this. And last one. Now you can stick with what we were just doing or you can come into a complete rollback, keeping our knees bent, bringing the back of the head onto the floor, arms reach overhead, big breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, ring reaches forward and you sit up tall. Exhale, ribs to hips, tailbone tucks under, pressing each vertebra into the mat one at a time. Head comes down, arms reach overhead. You're still pressing out into your ring and then you roll yourself all the way up, nice and tall. Just a few more like this. Nice job. Lots of options here, just stick with what's working for you. We're doing one more after this. And last one. Amazing, and come all the way up. Beautiful, holding on to that ring now. So let's bring our right foot into one of the pads and we're holding with an overhand grip or an underhand grip. I'll leave that up to you into the other pad. We'll keep our left knee bent for now. Right leg as straight as possible. You can do a few bend and stretches just to ease into that straight leg variation. 
So single arm, single leg roll back, arms are nice and straight. Sitting up tall to begin and then tailbone tucks under, roll back slowly. Take a nice big inhale, right legs to the sky, exhale, lower that right leg, tuck your chin towards your chest, sit up nice and tall. And again, ribs to hips round, pressing down through each vertebra, stretching your right leg as your head comes down to the mat. Big breath in and then exhale, lower your right leg, drop your ribs to your hips, round through your spine, come all the way up. We're doing a few more like this. Now the slower you go in this one, the more challenging it is. So you can use a little bit of momentum if you are new to this movement and you just want to get yourself up and down, of course, do it safely. But then once you get used to the feeling, you will try and slow it down and really focus in on your core doing most of the work here. You've got another four. Three. Good, two. And one. Now roll up, hold there, nice open chest, flat back in a V sit. Hold this position or float your left leg to tabletop, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Placing that left foot down, good job. Now we're going to place the pad down onto the mat and then our right ankle on top of the second pad. The legs nice and straight and then you're carefully coming all the way down to lie onto your back. Perfect. Reaching your arms up and overhead. We're going to press our right leg down into the ring, but not too much that it flips out from underneath our leg. So just about 40% tension and pressure down in through that right leg. And then you'll pick up your left foot, extend your left leg to the sky and reach your arms just behind your left leg and then reverse the movement, come down. So that's head down variation, or you can curl up. Those hands will reach a little further behind your left leg as you extend it straight up to the ceiling. And we're trying to balance our right leg on the ring, pressing down into it firmly. See if your fingertips can come close to touching behind your left leg. Really scooping through your core here. Now, if you feel good here, keeping your left leg straight as you come down, crossing the left ankle over the right ankle, and then lifting it up to the ceiling as you curl reach. Everything extends, lowers down, and curl reach three more inhale exhale two more last one lovely now bring your hands behind your head elbows wide the head rests down for a moment the left ankle crosses in front of the right we're bringing that left leg to tabletop as we oblique curl and come down. Right elbow across to left knee. Still pressing down through the right leg into your rim. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. one and rest just rest your left foot on the floor for a moment take a deep breath in and exhale release using your left foot to hold on to your ring so it doesn't roll away and then come all the way up to seated let's do that on the other side so we'll start right back to our single leg rollbacks placing our left foot now into that pad and taking an over or underhand grip onto the second pad 
Arms nice and straight. Your right knee is bent with the foot flat on the floor. Tall spine to begin. Inhale. Exhale, ribs to hips, tailbone tucks under very slowly. Roll back one vertebra at a time. Back of the head rests on the mat. Big inhale breath. Exhale, chin to chest, lower the left leg, keep the arms straight, roll yourself all the way up, tall spine. And again, ribs to hips, C curve, stretch, inhale. Exhale, lower the left leg, press it into the ring as you curl yourself all the way back up, you've got it. Use that breath. Once you get the hang of this one, it's quite fun. It feels quite nice. Really deep stretch through the left hamstring at the moment. Flexion through the spine, which is always lovely. Let's do four more. Four, still controlling the movement, not rushing through it. Three. Using your breath, if it helps. Two. Lovely, one more. Now we roll up one last time. Hold that teaser position. Keeping your right foot on the floor or engage the core, float the right leg up into tabletop. So the left leg is heavy into the ring. The hands are pulling against the opposite direction. You've got five, four, Three, two, amazing, and one. Come all the way up. Place one pad on the floor and the other pad underneath that left ankle. Left leg is straight, carefully come down onto your back. The right knee is bent for now. Arms reaching behind the head, shoulders down. Now just about 40% pressure down into your left leg through the ring. Use your core so that you don't flip that ring out from underneath your leg. As you lift your right leg to the ceiling, extend, reach the arms behind and slowly lower back down. This one is quite challenging, so just take it at your own pace. It doesn't matter if you do lose the ring, of course, that's no problem. You can always set yourself back up. Keep pressing down into your ring. Ribs to hips, lift those shoulders. One more with a bent knee. Now as that right leg lowers this time, it can cross over the left ankle. Nice straight leg for the remaining time. Curl, reach, inhale down. Exhale, curl. This is really working your stabilizing muscles through your deep core, your obliques your hamstring of your left leg. Four. Three. Two. One. Good, and leg down, hands behind the head, elbows wide, oblique twist. As you draw that right knee into tabletop, extend. So left elbow pulls across, twists to the right knee and down. So good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, perfect. Now just let that ring fall out from underneath your left foot and just rock your knees side to side. Well done. Lots of core work happening today. We're going to bring it up into some arms and legs now. So hug your knees in towards your chest, roll yourself all the way up to seated and find a standing position. All right, so we're up on our feet. We have our ring and we're coming into some lunges, bringing your left foot forward, right foot back, lifting the back Heel up so you're on the toes and your feet are hip distance apart. Now we're bringing one pad just to that outer hip. So not too low, otherwise it will roll around, just up into that hip bone. And then underneath 
the left hand with your second pad. Right hand can just balance on the hip. And we're taking a 90-90 lunge. When we're down there, we pulse into that ring. One, two, and then we stand up. So you may need to adjust that ring to find the right spot. Lunge, press, press, stand. 90-90, use the lat of the left side to double press and then come all the way up, drawing the belly button in. And we're up. Stand, stay nice and low through your legs. When you do that, pulse, pulse. Press, press, up. Whoop, up, good, almost lost the ring. That's okay if you do. One more like this, good. Now come down, hold your lunge, press into that ring for 10 release, nine release, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep pressing into the ring, pulse the legs, 10, nine, you can do it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, good job. Lower your back knee down onto the mat. Now this one's a little bit tricky, a little bit awkward sometimes, but do your best. Placing one pad just behind the left ankle and then point your toes so you don't lose the ring. Place the other pad, squish it just underneath your butt cheek. Now I might lose this one and that's totally fine. You might as well. Only here for 10 reps of two exercises. So find your hands and knees. We're going to lift that left leg up as high as we can without using the ring, losing the ring, sorry, and then bring the knee down halfway. Lift, lower. So it's like a half range donkey kick, really using our hamstring here to keep that ring in place. Very small movement. Five, four, Three, two, lift that leg, hold it up, pulse into the ring for 10, nine, eight, lift the core, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Well done if you got through that one. Pop the ring out in front of you for a moment, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips, come into your downward facing dog and just pedal out through the legs, your left leg will definitely need a bit of loving, a bit of stretching. And then walk your feet all the way forward towards your hands, grab your ring, ring and roll yourself all the way up to standing. Now I'm just going to turn around for the other side. Stepping your right foot forward, left foot back, balancing the ring just to the outer hip, placing one pad under your hand. Coming down into your 90-90 lunge, hold. Press into that ring, one, two. Stand all the way up. Bend those knees, stay low. Press, press, and we're up. Draw belly button to spine. Draw the deep core muscles in. Keeping your shoulders stacked over your hips. Amazing. Four more of these. Adjust when you need to. Props can be fiddly, but they definitely add just that little bit of extra burn that sometimes we're after. This is your last one here. Now we're staying down in our lunge, pressing into that ring, releasing for nine. Eight, seven, stay low, six, five, four, three, two, keep pressing into that ring, pulse the legs, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower your back knee down, good job. Let's do those funky little donkey kicks on this right side. So place the pad behind your right ankle and then point the toe 
wedge the other pad just under your glute cheek there. Hands under shoulders, lift the core in that nice tabletop position. We lift our right leg as high as we can, lower halfway down. Hamstrings working quite hard. It will be pretty sore after those lunges as well. Eight more of these. Seven. Keep pressing into that ring so you don't lose it. Six. Five. Four. You've got this. Three. Two. Lift on one, hold. Pulse into that ring for 10, nine, eight. There'll be little movements. Six, five, lift the knee more. Four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Good job. Grab your ring. Let's bring our legs out in front of us now. Side by side. Squeezing your thighs together. Pointing through your toes, holding your ring. Once again, around the backs of the hands or the wrists. Reaching the arms out in front. Now we're going to attempt a complete rollover. If you don't like this one, just come back to your half rollbacks we did earlier on. Starting with a nice tall spine. Take a big inhale. Exhale, ribs to hips, tailbone tucks under. Roll back one vertebra at a time. Bring the base of the shoulder blades to the mat. Rest the shoulders down, back of the head. Reach the arms overhead. Keep pressing out into your ring. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Arms reach forward. Roll yourself all the way up. See if you can pull back through the core. Reach your ring forward towards your feet. Sit up nice and tall. Reset. Big inhale breath. Exhale, ribs to hips. Tailbone tucks under. Roll back. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, reach forward, roll yourself all the way up, fold forward over your legs, pulling your core in. Restack the spine, sit up tall, three more like this. Roll back slowly, squeezing your legs together as well here. Stretching out those hamstrings as you reach forward. Two more. Press your legs down into the floor. Roll all the way up, reach. This is your last one and we get to lie down to finish class after this. So sit up tall, get ready, exhale. Round through the spine, core in. Big inhale, breath, reach your arms overhead. And then exhale, stay here. Well done. Step your feet in. Knees bent, hip distance apart. Rock your knees side to side, amazing. Now we have made it to our final series. Shuffle down the mat if you've shuffled up after those rollovers. So bringing that ring to the outside of your legs, just above your knees, like you're putting on a skirt. Setting up for bridges with the knees bent, feet flat. We'll leave the arms down by the side today. Tuck the tailbone under, start to roll your hips up into a glute bridge. Squeeze your glutes at the top, pause. Roll all the way down. Adding on this time, roll all the way up. Pulse out into that ring for three, two, one. Roll down. And again, lift up. Pulse for three, out into that ring, two, one, and down. A few more of these. When we're pulsing out into the ring, we're keeping the height of our hips, squeezing through the glutes so that they don't drop, keeping tailbone tucked under. You're doing so well. We are so close to the end of class. We're just doing one more, but we will keep our hips lifted in that bridge. Pulsing out for 10, nine, eight, press through the heels, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, keep those hips up. Pulse the hips up and down for 10, nine, eight. You've got this. Six, five, keep going. Four, this is it. Three, two, one, squeeze and hold, and then roll down slowly. Good job. Extend your legs to the ceiling. 
flex your feet back, hook your toes into your ring, take an underhand grip here, and just pedal out through your feet. Press the tailbone heavy to the mat. Flex both toes back, stretching through the hamstrings, maybe a really gentle rock side to side. Place your ring off to the side, hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll yourself all the way up to seated. Come into a mermaid seat with your right knee bent behind, your left leg bent in front. And the ring underneath your left hand, arm nice and straight. Inhale, reach that right arm up and over. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, come all the way up. And again, exhale, stretch. Inhale, reset, two more. Lovely, last one. Come all the way up, change sides. Ring is underneath the right hand now. The right leg is bent in front and left leg bent behind. Big inhale, breath, exhale, side bend. Inhale, come up tall. And again, exhale. Inhale. Two more. Reset. And last one. Come up all the way. Crossing your legs or sitting comfortably, bringing that ring between both hands. Rounding through the spine, seated cat-cow. Inhale, lengthen, reach the ring to the ceiling. Exhale, ribs to hips, tailbone tucks. Pull those shoulders forward. Inhale, lengthen. Two more. And last one. Placing your ring down, finally. Giving your shoulders a little shrug up, down and back. Now we are all done for class. I truly hope you enjoyed this Pilates ring full body flow. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Live Aligned Pilates. I upload new workouts every week. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.